It's time for me to teach Mikey a lesson, because he's already tired of sleeping all the time, and I've already prepared something for him. I hope he likes it, but it's time for us to move. And this is the very place I was talking about. You would know how long I have been preparing this prank, how long I have been thinking over an action plan, and now finally I have a great opportunity to realize my idea. But I need help. Hey, villager, you're just going to help me. You don't need much. You just repeat after me and everything will be fine. You will have to break one of these pillars so that this piano falls right on Mikey. It will be very funny. I see that you like my plan. So let's do it before he wakes up. Then nothing good will remain from the prank. Do you understand? Come on, break it. Wow, that's cool. Ha ha ha. I haven't laughed like that for a long time. Just look at how he fell. No one has ever done such cool pranks. And will not do it. Because what? Right. I'm a real genius of pranks. But what's with your face and what are you up to? Is it just me? Or are you looking at my mechanisms in a strange way? What are you already up to? What are you doing? Don't touch my mechanisms. I didn't build them for you. I made them so that after we dropped the piano on him, I could shoot some more arrows. Let's get out of here. I'm already tired of you, and I don't want to have anything to do with you anymore. Do you understand me? Let's get out. Give me the axe, and don't come here anymore if you don't know how to control yourself and not poke your nose into someone else's business. Okay, I've dealt with this psycho, but now it's time for me to deal with Mikey because he doesn't want to wake up. Did he really fall asleep so much that even lava can't wake him up? I don't like it anymore. Mikey, can you hear me or not? What's wrong with you? Are you sleeping or not sleeping? How are you? So, I don't like it anymore. Something is clearly wrong here. He should have woken up a long time ago. Something bad happened to him. I'm sure of it. Oh no, how could I let it happen? It was just a prank. I didn't want to do anything wrong. Mikey, if you can hear me, then I'll save you. I'll find a way. You just don't die. I'll do my best so that you could live. Now I'll take you home and try to help you. I know that I can do it because I won't forgive myself for this. So listen to my voice. I'll find a way to revive you. I have water. It seems to me that because of the lava, you have a high temperature. And now I'll try to reduce her in this way. So, lie down and don't move. Now I will do everything necessary to save you. You, most importantly, fight for your life. Oh, there's an Enderman here. I remember that he can't look into his eyes and then he won't attack me, so I'll just pass by. What is that sound? Oh my god. No, not that. What else are you doing? Are you crazy? Where are you going? What are you up to, Enderman? Oh no. What are you doing with my friend? Put it back. I didn't let you take it. Do you understand me? Okay. I understand that you don't want to listen to me. Then I'll take it from you, because it's my friend, and I don't know where you want to take it. So I won't let you do it. Do you understand me? I do not know who you are, but I know for sure that Endermen do not steal my friends. This has never happened and will never happen. Do you hear me? I know you're afraid of water. So you can't hide from me. Don't even think that I'll let you just take my friend away. You attacked the wrong one. So let's get out of here while you're still alive. So get out of here. This is the best thing you can do in your miserable life. But the most important thing is that I have Mikey again. And I will cure him. I'm sure of it. And no one can stop me. Hey, villager, what do you need from me? Are you kidding me or something? If you don't want to help me, then don't come near me. What do you want to show me? I don't understand what you're doing. Is this some kind of mockery or what? Now come into this cage yourself. I won't go there. Because at least I don't understand what you need from me. Listen to me here. Either you go into the cage now or I'll just destroy you. I see that you chose the right option. I'm glad for you that you still decided to listen to me. But I don't care about it. I have to save my friend. He either died, or he has a coma. And in general, I don't really understand this nonsense. But I know for sure that something is wrong with him, and he needs my help. What's going on here? What kind of meeting is here? Oh, it seems that this villager died. I forgot for him, 
I didn't think that this could happen to him. But, to be honest, I don't care about him. Because I remembered that we have a hospital in the village. So, and here's the hospital. What I needed, I hope that you can help my friend. Because he so, let's say, accidentally fell into the lava. But it doesn't matter. The main thing is that he needs your help, Doctor. All hope is only on you, because I've already tried all the ways. Let me give you emeralds, and you give me potions for my friend. I hope that at least this can help him, and he will still be alive. Thank you for your assistance. If your potions help, then I will tell everyone that there are normal doctors in our hospital. So, great. Thank you for that. So now I ran as fast as possible to save my friend's life. I hope that I am not late, and everything will be fine with him. I would not want him to die, so I have to do everything that is necessary. And I hope that no one will distract me this time. And I don't care about this villager who died in this cage. He is to blame for however, he provoked me. So this will be a lesson to him. Mikey. So I came to you, so now I'm going to treat you, and I hope that I will do everything possible to cure you. The main thing is that you also fight for your life, and don't give up. Together we will be able to revive you. But first, I will make a full-fledged hospital ward here, so that you can survive, and I hope that I will succeed. Although I don't expect any other result. So let's get this over with, and you'll live again. But maybe I haven't equipped this room enough yet. Like in a hospital? But something tells me that I'm not very good at being a doctor. Here I have only two options. It's either I'm doing something wrong or something is wrong with these potions that this doctor gave me. And something tells me that if I'll find out which one of the options, then Mikey will not live the same life anyway. Okay, it seems I can't do anything. So I'll go and ask for more help from someone. I hope that someone will definitely be able to help me with this and will not remain indifferent. Doctor, something your potions don't work, so let's show me how to properly treat the example of a villager. Just hurry up, because I don't have as much time as you think, and I'm not going to be here all day. So, let's do what you need, and I will remember and apply your knowledge already on my other, or you will do it. So let's go faster. And I see that your potions really work. So I have only one option. It's that I did something wrong. I hope that at least you will be able to cure him. Because I don't know who else to contact with this problem. Come with me. You have to examine my friend. Because I don't understand what's going on with him at all. I've already done everything possible. But I didn't succeed. And where did you go? Aren't you going to help me cure your friend? Or what? So... Something I don't understand what's going on anymore. You're a doctor. Why aren't you treating my friend? What's wrong with you? Explain to me what's going on here. Please, where did you bring me? What do you want to show me? Wait, you want to tell me that you will help my friend only for emeralds? But I don't have emeralds. And I don't know where to get them. But I understand that I have no other way out. So I have to come up with something. I hope that I will find a way to earn emeralds what it wouldn't be worth it to me. But what would I do to save my friend? Oh, and here seems to be the answer. Hello, Builder. I know that you have a lot of emeralds, and I offer you one challenge. Let's build huge beds with you, and the one with the best bed won. So what? Do you agree with me or not? I see that you agree with me, so run with me. We already have a construction site. And this is where we will build. Just let's not cheat. No matter what happens, we have to be honest with each other. And let's do it before it's too late. Because it's going to be evening soon, and I don't want to build at night. But I think you yourself understand what I'm telling you. Namely about monsters and other problems that will be. But I'll tell you right away that you have no chance. So don't even try to win me. You've already lost. Just accept it. Of course. I understand that you've been building furniture all your life, but it can end badly for you. And don't forget about who you're dealing with to fight in the construction challenge. When Mikey was alive, he and I had a lot of different challenges. And you know what? In almost every challenge, I won. And now it won't be difficult for me to beat you. 
So don't even hope that I'll let you build your bed so that it would be better than I have. I've already thought through everything I'm going to do, and your bed doesn't even compare to mine. And when I finish my bed, and the villagers decide which of the two of us won, then you will give me all your emeralds and I will pay the doctor. And this means that my friend will live, and I will do it no matter what it costs me. So let's get off of me, and don't peek at my bed. Do you understand me or not? Because if I see at least one hint that you stole my idea, you better not knowing what I'm going to do to you, and I'm going to take revenge very hard, because you didn't even dream. And you will only dream that I would let you go, and you will continue to do your nonsense, and fix all sorts of stools, and then I will laugh at you. Okay, while I have the main part of my bed almost ready, this builder is not working out yet. And I like this more and more every second. So I won't stop, because our time is limited until dusk. And it seems that this moment will come soon. So I have to finish my bed as soon as possible and defeat this noob. And there is also the factor that my friend needs help as soon as possible. So I can't delay this nonsense. He needs my help very urgently. And I will do it for him. Because if I were in his place, he would do everything the same as me. So I will not stop and I will build the best bed in my life that you can only dream of. Only it seems to me that it will not be very comfortable to sleep on such a bed. Because the bed is 10 times larger than anyone in this village. But still, it's not harmful to dream, right? How pleased I am with myself. You can't even convey my pride. How I haven't built anything so cool for a long time. But I hope that I won't build again. So it's time to finish this but I don't really like what this builder is building. So I want to adjust his bed a little, so that he definitely won't win. I just have to win. That's why I'm going to such desperate measures. Everyone should understand this. So let's, we'll be done with this nonsense already. Great, now is the best moment for this. And now no one will stop me. And in general, I don't want to think that this builder can win, but it seems I did what I wanted. And now I will build so that I definitely won't lose in this challenge. So, it will come soon the moment when I win my well-deserved, or maybe not so emeralds, and pay for the services of this doctor. And then he will cure my friend, and everything will be fine with him. We will have fun as before, and arrange pranks for each other. But I hope that next time, I will be careful with these pranks, so that I don't hurt my best friend. Because I feel very guilty about it. And I hope that someday it will all be over and we will be together again because that's all I need. I can't think of anything else. So I will do everything to win and don't even think about judging me for it because I don't care. And as far as I understand, it's time for us to end this challenge because we have delayed it a little. It seems to me that no one is interested in watching us just build beds. And I hope that sooner or later you will give up or let's already decide who won and who of us is a noob. But I think that everyone knows the answer in advance, and the results will not surprise anyone except this builder. Well, get ready for your main call in your life, and I hope that you won't be too upset, because we have problems with the roof and maybe we will need your help in this. But let's find out now who won. And I think that everything is obvious here. So give me all your emeralds here. And this means that I will now be able to pay for the services of this doctor and cure my friend. Finally, I got this moment. I no longer believed in it. But now he will definitely live. I know that the doctor's potions will definitely work. This is for you for choosing me. And now it's time for me to go to Mike to cure him. Because I've already missed him very much. But now, I will cure him. And everything will return to normal. And we will live as before. And that's what I was missing. So it's time for me to do it already. And I hope that this time, I will definitely succeed. Because I do not know exactly how it will be. Take the diamonds and let's go treat my friend faster before he completely leaves us. Um, Mikey, are you alive? But how? You were dead? What happened to you? But wait, doctor. Come on. Return my emeralds that I gave you. Now I don't need your services. What is going on at all? Why are we running after him? What emeralds are you talking about? We're wasting all these emeralds on all sorts of nonsense. And why did I have to be dead? Is this your next prank of some kind? You were dead. 
I tried to save you but you didn't respond and didn't do anything. And I was looking for a way to help you. Don't pay attention to this. It's better for you not to know what I was doing here while you were dead. Or what happened to you at all. Will you explain to me? Um, I was just sleeping because I was working all night on the farm. And you decided not to do anything and not help me. So now it's your turn to do it. And I asked the villagers to tell you about it. So let's start doing it before night falls. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how I'm going to work on the farm. You would know how much time and effort I spent because of you. And now I'm indignant. So you better not tell me what to do with it. Do you understand me or not? Hey! What are you doing? Are you crazy or something? Do you even hear yourself? You've been doing some nonsense all day. And now you're breaking up the farm? So let's get this over with before you anger the villagers. Because they obviously won't like it. And I hope that you still come to your senses and apologize. I'd rather leave here.